you want a smooth gaming experience, well, then you came to the right place. This video will tell you 8 easy steps to boost your FPS in Fortnite as well as reduce your input lag. These methods will work on low-end PCs as well as high-end ones. Let's jump right into it. The first step will be to disable the Xbox Game Bar. To do so, just go to Settings, type in Xbox Game Bar, select Enable Xbox Game Bar, and turn this to off. This is gonna make a huge difference when you're playing, it consumes a lot of resources. So for step 2, we're gonna change some Fortnite install options. So go to your Epic Games Launcher to Library, and I'll press these three dots here, and press Options. You're gonna unselect High Resolution Textures, just leave it unselected, and you're gonna enable Disable Cosmetic Streaming. What this does, it downloads the skins while you're playing, which makes your internet lag or FPS drop. So we're gonna disable that. It's gonna take more space in your disk, but it will definitely improve your FPS and your input lag. So you're gonna press apply, and you're gonna wait until this finishes. For step three, we're gonna disable full screen optimization. To do this, go to the folder where you installed Fortnite. So, Epic Games. Fortnite, Fortnite game, binaries, 164. And now you're gonna scroll down and look for the ones that have the Fortnite logo. So just press on it, right click, properties. Now go to compatibility and you're gonna select the disable full screen optimizations. Select this one, press apply, and then okay. Do the same for this one. All the ones that have the Fortnite logo. So compatibility, disable, apply, okay. And I keep doing this for all of them. Disable, apply, okay. Properties, compatibility, disable, apply, and okay. And that's it for step three. So for step four, we have Fortnite video settings. So you're gonna wanna go and launch Fortnite. Once you have launched it, go to setting. For our first setting, you wanna keep this on full screen or windowed full screen. You wanna keep this in your native resolution for 1920 by 1080. You wanna have VSync off. For your frame rate limit, I recommend going one above your monitor's refresh rate. So if you have a 144Hz monitor, keep this on 160. If you have a 240Hz monitor, just keep this on 360. So in my case, I'm gonna leave mine on 160. For rendering mode, okay, so this one's a bit tricky. We're gonna want this on performance mode. However, the settings you have on DirectX 11 or DirectX 12 will impact your performance mode. So we're gonna keep this on DirectX 12. Uh, all of these don't matter, that's up to you. We're gonna put this on custom. Anti-aliasing we want off. Temporal super resolution we want this on recommended. 3D resolution on 100. Dynamic 3D resolution off, off, everything off. When it comes to view distance, this one is up to you and how good your PC is. I like having this one on either on far or epic. However, if your PC is on the low end side, you can have this on near. But having this on a higher setting will give you a bit of an advantage on spotting enemies who are far away. Now textures, keep this on low, effects low, post-processing on low. Show FPS, that's up to you, I like having it on. And that use GPU crash debugging, keep this on off. Once you've done all that, press apply. You're gonna have to restart your game, so do that. After restarting your game, you're gonna wanna change this to performance mode. So do that, press apply, and then you're gonna have to restart your game once again. Now for performance mode, it's pretty straight on. You just want to have 3D resolution on 100%, native virtualized geometry off, view distance, again, that's up to you, keep it on far if you have a higher end PC, on near if you have a lower end PC. Textures low, and when it comes to meshes, I like this on high, but it's really up to what your PC can handle. If it can handle much, just keep it on low, but keeping this on high will make it more visually appealing. Show FPS on and then press apply and this time you're not gonna have to restart your game luckily enough. So yeah, that's your Fortnite graphics settings. Now for our next step, we're gonna want to set Fortnite's priority to high. To do this, press Ctrl Alt Delete on your keyboard. Now select Task Manager. Here on Processes, you're gonna see Fortnite. Right click it and press go to details. Here, you're gonna, it's gonna be pre-selected. Just right click it. You're gonna select set priority to high. 
this will make your fps higher and it's gonna lower your input lag so for the next step you'll want to go ahead and close fortnite go back to the epic games launcher go to library press the three dots again and this time you're gonna press manage and press verify files it's gonna take a minute to do if there's any problems with the game this will fix it so go ahead and wait for this to be done before moving on to the next step so now what we're gonna do is defrag your hard drive the one you have fortnite installed in so you're gonna go ahead and right here the frag and optimize drives here you're gonna select the one you have fortnite installed so in my case it's a c drive and then you're gonna press the optimize button this is gonna take a while to do, so just go ahead and wait. Mine, it was actually pretty fast as I did this recently, but if you haven't done this in a while, it will take a minute. So just wait until it finishes. For our eighth and final step, we're gonna have to install a program. I understand if you don't like installing links you don't know, so you can just skip this step if you don't feel comfortable. However, this program is really good at reducing input lag. So you can go ahead and open up the link in the description below. It's called Timer Resolution. Just go ahead and scroll to the bottom where it says download, just download it, save it wherever you want to save it. Once you're done downloading it, go to the folder it's on, press extract here, and the little program's right here. So you're going to go ahead and run this as an administrator. But what you do is very simple, you just press the maximum. This is going to reduce the input lag by half, which is really, really good. I really like this program. And yeah, uh, this is the final step. Once you've done all of this, you're going to go. Thank you so much for watching. If you want an extra boost, make sure to watch our Windows 10 optimization guide. And if you liked the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe.